We at Build Next use a certain set of building performance indicators to understand the performance of a design objectively in terms of livability, comfort, space efficiency and cost efficiency. The six indicators used are ventilation factor, daylight factor, effective square feet, utility factor, wall area ratio and opening area ratio. Considering ventilation, a well ventilated room provides comfort and saves energy and this can be done by providing cross ventilation. Cross ventilation happens when there are two openings placed opposite to each other where air flows in through a smaller window and flows out through a larger window. The placement of the windows also matters. In this scenario, both windows are placed perpendicularly on walls adjacent to each other, thus reducing the ventilation factor as limited ventilation happens over both active and dormant spaces. When both windows are placed perpendicularly on walls opposite to each other, it improves the ventilation factor compared to the previous scenario, but the ventilation path is less as both openings are of small size and ventilation is over the dormant area, reducing the efficiency. This is the ideal option as both windows are placed on walls parallel to each other and on opposite sides, improving the ventilation factor. In ventilation factor, we mark this path and the factor is calculated by comparing it to the total area. Considering daylight, a well-lit room brings brightness into the space, prevents the growth of fungus and helps in saving energy. The daylight coming in can depend on various factors like the size of the opening, the nature of the material used, the surface finish of the rooms, the position of the opening and side factors. When you look at the model, you can see the light coming in. But as the size of the opening is less, the light entering is also less. Similarly, when the size of the opening is more, the light entering is also more. For the daylight factor to be calculated, all the areas where direct daylight hits are marked and is compared with the total area of the building. Another important metric is effective square feet, which helps us understand how efficiently each square feet is used within the building. In this scenario, this space is used as a standalone living room and more area is taken up for circulation than being used for the living activity. This can be efficiently avoided by combining the circulation space of living and dining room, thus reducing the area for circulation and serving the required needs at the same time. The next factor used is called the utility factor which is used to understand how effectively an area is allocated based on the time spent in each room. For example, consider a scenario where one wishes to spend more time in bedroom than in the living room. While designing, if more area is allocated for the living room than for bedrooms, it reduces the impact of space as you will feel more enclosed as you spend more time in the bedroom. In this case, the utility factor is less. This factor can be increased by allocating space based on the time spent. Wall area ratio compares the total wall area with the total area of the building. The opening area ratio compares the total area of window openings with the total area of the building. 